15 of Super Rugby started out with a bang on Friday morning. The Sharks took the Blues 29 to 23. Our Sport 24 experts correctly predicted that game and then went on to correctly predict the other three South African games this weekend. They are here with me in studio for a little bit of gloating. Hello, guys. Hi, Jen. Well, Garen, why don't you take us to the second game? It was the Bulls versus the Brumbies on Friday. Friday evening. Yeah, as you correctly said, you know, we got off to a great start week 15 with the Sharks winning in New Zealand. Things got even better in the second game. The Bulls up against the Brumbies. It was a must-win game for the Bulls. In fact, they have to win all their remaining games, yeah. we think, in order to reach the playoffs. And they did just that against the Brumbies, who were flying high in the Australian Conference, but were strangely out of, out of form, you know, not really on their A game at Loftus Festival. That's the second defeat on their mm -hmm. South African tour. Now they head off back to, to Australia 0-2, which is a good thing from a South African point of view. The, the Bulls moved up to fifth spot after winning that particular game. They subsequently slipped down the, the standings afterwards with other teams winning, results not going in their mm -hmm. favour. But just looking at that game, a really fantastic performance by the Bulls. I was really impressed. You know, we always thought they'd be much better back yeah. at home with the, at, at altitude with their faithful fans behind them. And they dis didn't disappoint. They were really, really impressive in their forward driving game. Even their back line really showed up on the game, uh, on the night. So hats off to them, you know, going from strength to strength. And they're still within a shot of making those all-important playoffs. Amazing. So absolutely amazing start mm -hmm. to Week 15. Rob, was that your take on the game? Yeah, it, it was. Uh, I thought it was the Bulls' performance of the season, Jen. They've... Um, uh, I mean, they've had a few decent wins, uh, uh, perhaps a little bit sort of fitfully. It hasn't been their best season. I mean, they are three times champions, and they're not playing with, uh, with the sort of consistent precision that they have in, in, in past years. But I thought that this was the closest that they came to sort of almost revisiting Garen, I suppose those those the great days of you know uh, Victor Matfield at his at his the peak of his career, Bucky Spurter, Farid Dupre, all those characters who sort of powered them for years, um, and now there's a sort of new generation taking shape, and and frankly they they they, they almost murdered the uh, the Brumbies. Uh, it was they beat them by 21 points, um, way beyond uh, most people's expectations, I'm sure, and a really impressive performance. I just you just saw from the opening whistle, you just felt as if the Bulls were really were mentally switched on, um, and and Ben Moen, the the Brumbies captain was actually very complimentary afterwards he said that uh, he thought the Bulls looked as though looked every inch as sort of a playoffs team um, they're, they're reaching the playoffs is still well less than guaranteed they, they still have to keep on winning they've got three more matches um, and and still I think must win them all uh, I think if one slip up will be enough to to drop them off the radar which will be a great shame considering that they do seem to be building quite a nice head of steam and I was very impressed with uh, people like Matfield uh, who I thought had perhaps his most uh, compelling all-round game yet and even someone like John O'Ross, uh, who's the much maligned sort of emergency fetcher, if you like, I thought he had a terrific game um, against the Brumbies. So uh, lots, lots to feel positive about at, at Loftus at the moment. Well,